University Challenge. Asking the questions, Jeremy Paxman. Hello. The first round matches are over. Ten teams can now only dream of what might have been. Fourteen are spotting for the second round, and four teams who lost their first round matches are going to fight again for the last two places in that stage of the competition. They've earned the right to do so because their losing scores were higher than the winning scores in some other matches. Teams who've cheated death by this rule in the past have gone on to be series champions, so there's still everything to play for. Now, the team from the Open University acquitted themselves well in their first round match, but they were up against doughty opposition in the shape of Leicester University. They lost by 190 points to 245, but that was the highest of the losing scores in the whole first round. They impressed on children's laureates, Roman Britain, and music in the Grand Theft Auto video games. <laughs> With an average age of 40, let's meet the Open team again. Hello, my name's Danielle Gibney. I'm originally from Amsterdam in the Netherlands, and I'm studying social sciences. Hello, I'm Stuart Taylor, originally from Stratford-on-Avon, and I'm studying development management. And let's meet their captain. Hello, I'm Lynn Jones from Bolton in Lancashire, and I'm studying history and languages. Hello, my name's Kate Law. I'm from Sutherland in the Scottish Highlands, and I'm studying engineering. Now, their opponents, the team from the London School of Economics, were pretty evenly matched throughout their first round match against the London School of Hygiene and Tropical Medicine. They answered knowledgeably on ketones, Corsica and the Corn Laws. At the gong, their score of 140 lost them the match by a mere 10 points. With an average age of 26, let's meet the LSE team again. Hello, I'm Peter Sims. I'm from Edmonton, Canada, and I'm doing a PhD in economic history. Hi, my name is Jeffrey Moe. I'm from Calgary, also in Canada, and I'm studying for a master's in econometrics and mathematical economics. And this is their captain. Hello, I'm Jimmy Chen. I'm from Colchester in Essex, and I'm studying government and history. Hi, I'm Pedro Franco de Campos Pinto. I'm originally from Brazil. I'm studying for a PhD in economics. Hi. Um, we look forward to uh, an interesting competition, but I don't need to recite the rules to you, so let's get on with it. Fingers on the buzzers, here's a starter. If ever there is another war in Europe, it'll come out of some damn silly thing in the Balkans. These words are attributed to... LSE Pinto. Bismarck. It is Otto von Bismarck, yes. <laughs> Famously said, a conflict that wasn't worth the life of a single Pomeranian grenadier. Your bonuses now are on the actor Peter O'Toole, who died in December 2013. Peter O'Toole held the record for the most Academy Award acting nominations without a win. His first was for Lawrence of Arabia. His second was for playing Henry II in which film of 1964, the title character being an Archbishop of Canterbury? Um, Beckett. Beckett. Beckett, sure. What's the name of the film? I don't know. Murder in the Cathedral? I don't know. Okay, I'm just Thomas Beckett then. Sure. Thomas Beckett? No, the film was called Beckett. So you don't get the points, I'm afraid. Now, I, which is what I wanted. I wanted the name of the film. So five points at stake for this. Which film in 1969 gave O'Toole his fourth Oscar nomination and was loosely based on a novel by James Hilton about the life of a schoolteacher? Uh, I have no idea. I'm sorry. Yeah, pass. Pass. That was goodbye, Mr. Chips. And finally, having received an honorary Oscar in 2003, O'Toole's eighth and final nomination was for his role in which film of 2006? It takes its name from the protagonist's favourite painting, a work by Velasquez, often described as the Roque Bee. The Roque Bee Venus is also known as... Wait, no, not the Roque Bee Venus, is it? Is it? I don't know. The Man Who Wasn't There or something like that. Mm. Try that, yeah. The Man Who Wasn't There? No, it's Venus. Oh, no. <laughs> the Roque Bee Venus. Ten points for this. Van Gogh's Starry Night and Salvador Dali's The Persistence of Memory are among works in the collection of which... We... Open Taylor. The Museum of Modern Art in New York. That's correct, yes. Right, your first bonuses are on a mathematician. Firstly, for five points. If you gain, you gain all. If you lose, you lose nothing. This reasoning for betting on the existence of God is generally attributed to which mathematician born in central France in 1623? Pascal. Pascal's wager? Pascal? Pascal? 
Pascal. Correct. In Pascal's triangle, what is the sum of all the entries in the third row from the top? Fifteen. Oh, good Lord. No, it's four. One plus two plus one. <laughs> Measured in Pascal seconds, which property of a fluid is conventionally denoted by the Greek letter eta? It's, it's not viscosity, is it? That's rho. No, no, viscosity. Yeah, viscosity. Yeah. viscosity. 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 Correct. Ten points for this. <laughs> Shared by two unrelated Frenchmen born in the later 18th century, what surname links a mathematician who gives his name to an integral transform and a social reformer whose writings include the theory of the four movements and the new industrial world. Open Gibney. Fourier? Correct. <laughs> this set of bonuses, Open University, are on November 1914. In early November 1914, an Anglo-Japanese force captured which German possession on the Yellow Sea? It's now one of China's largest seaports and gives its name to a noted brewery founded by German settlers. Sorry. Tsingtao? I don't know. <laughs> it's a beer. <laughs> Nominate Gibney. Tsingtao? Correct. <laughs> the German East Asia Squadron based at Tsingtao had already left its base and on November the 1st defeated a British squadron off the coast of Coronel. In which country? Come on. Mm. Mexico. Mexico. No, it's Chile. Who commanded the German East Asia Squadron? Killed at the Battle of the Falkland Islands in December 1914, he gave his name to a cruiser that was scuttled near Montevideo Harbour in 1939. Graf Spey? Graf Spey? Graf Spey. Yes, it was Spey was his final name. <laughs> Ten points for this. A theme often used by science fiction writers, what term denotes the large collection of universes in the many worlds interpretation of quantum mechanics according to which every event at the quantum level... LSE Sims. Multiverse. Correct. <laughs> These bonuses are on musical instruments, LSE. Which tuba-like instrument used in marching bands takes its name from the US composer of Semper Fidelis and El Capitan? Uh, a sousaphone. Correct. Also known as the bass oboe and used in Richard Strauss's opera Elektra, what reed instrument takes its name from the German company that first produced it in the early 20th century? Saxophone. Saxophone. Okay. Saxophone. Saxophone. No, it's a hecklephone. And finally, which brass-bodied reed instrument was patented in 1846 by the Belgian music manufacturer after whom it is named? Saxophone. 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 That is a saxophone, yes. Right, we're going to take a picture around. For your picture starter, you'll see a map with a town highlighted, which is the site of an annual arts event. Ten points if you can name the town. LSE Chen. Hey. Hey on wires, correct, yes. Now, the Hay Festival has been extended to venues outside Britain. For your bonuses, uh, more maps showing the locations of three Hay International Festivals. Firstly, for five, this capital city? Dhaka. 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 Correct, that gives you the lead. Secondly, this capital city? That is Nairobi. Nairobi. Dodoma. That's Nairobi. No, it's Nairobi. Nairobi. Okay. Nairobi. Correct, and finally, this city? Uh, Madrid. Madrid? No. no, 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 it's not. Is that Salamanca? Is that Salamanca? I think Salamanca. 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 No, it's Segovia. Ten points for this. A true-born Englishman's a contradiction in speech and irony, in fact, a fiction. Who wrote those words in a satirical work of 1701? The following year, he published The Shortest Way with Dissenters, but is better known for his open law. Jonathan Swift. No, you lose five points, but is better known for his novels of the 1720s, which include Roxana and A Journal of the Plague Year. One of you, Buzz, LSE. 
I'll tell you, it's Daniel Defoe. Ten points for this. What name is given to the radioactive isotope of hydrogen that's present in water known by the... Open Gibney. Tritium. Correct. <laughs> you could retake the lead if you get these bonuses. They're on an explorer. Noted for his ability to live off the land in the manner of the indigenous people, the Scottish explorer John Ray conducted expeditions from 1846 into the sparsely inhabited northern regions of which country? Canada. Correct. After qualifying as a surgeon in 1833, Ray joined which institution established 1670 and known by the initials HBC? No. Come on, let's have Sorry, it. Sorry, no. It's the Hudson's Bay Company. And finally, from 1848, Ray was involved in the search for which explorer and navigator who disappeared the previous year during his search for the Northwest Passage? It's not Erasmussen. No. Anything? Rasmussen? No, it's Sir John Franklin. Ten points for this. Born 1932, Sir Peter Blake is perhaps best known for co-designing the cover of which ground... Open Taylor. Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. Correct. <laughs> and you've retaken the lead. Your bonuses are on the sciences. What three-letter acronym denotes a network of computers linked together, usually within a small geographical area such as a single building? LAN. Correct. What group of technical standards for use in a local area network was named after the medium supposed in the 19th century to be responsible for the propagation of light? Ethernet. Sorry. Ethernet. Ethernet. Correct. The theory of the luminiferous ether was discredited by which interferometric experiment named after the two physicists who first performed it in 1887? Could be... Mickelson-Morley. Mickelson-Morley. Yes, I think it's called Michelson-Morley, but you've got the right one. <laughs> Ten points for this. France and Bulgaria are the world's largest producers of which essential oil derived from a flowering evergreen shrub? It's widely used in perfumery and is believed to have therapeutic properties. Its name is often used to indicate a light tone of violet. Open kidney. Lavender. Correct. These bonuses are on pairs of words that differ only in the substitution of a final X for a final Y. For example, fax and fe. In each case, give both words from the definitions. Firstly, for five points, an ester of fatty acids secreted by an organism, usually having a protective function, and the translation of the Greek odos in the Acts of the Apostles or of the Japanese do in the words judo and kendo. Oh, whey and wax. Yes, yes. Wax and whey. Wax and whey. Correct. Secondly, a philosopher and revolutionary born in Trier in 1818 and the mother of James VI of Scotland. Marks and Mary. Marks and Mary. Correct. And finally, the Latin and Spanish words for the principal title held by male monarchs of Great Britain. Rex, Rex, and, Rex and Ray. Rex and Ray. Yeah. Rex and Ray. Correct. We're going to take a music round. <laughs> if your music starter, you'll hear a piece of classical music. Ten points if you can give me the name of the Italian composer, please. Open Law. Vivaldi? It is Vivaldi, yes. <laughs> that was part of his Tempesta di Mare. Three other pieces of classical music for your bonuses pertaining to inclement weather. In each case, all you have to do is give me the name of the composer. Firstly, for five, this German composer.
Sounds like him. Beethoven? No, it's Brahms's Rain Sonata. Secondly, this French composer. Correct, yes, it was the Royal Hunt and Storm from the Trojans. And finally, this British composer. Vaughan Williams? No, it's Benjamin Britten, part of Noise Flood. Right, ten points for this. Answer as soon as your name is called. What is the result in degrees of adding together the sums of the three internal angles of a triangle, the four internal angles of a square, and the five internal angles of a pentagon? LSE Mo. 1260. No, Open University. One of you, Buzz. Open Taylor. 520. No, it's 1,080, so ten points for this starter question, fingers on the buzzers. Taos, the site of an artistic community that included Georgia O'Keeffe, is in which U.S...? LSE Mo. New Mexico. Correct. <laughs> right, your bonuses, LSE, are on stations of the Subterraneo, or Underground Railway of Buenos Aires. Firstly, born 1770, which leader in the Argentine War of Independence gives his name to a station on Line E of the Buenos Aires Underground? A warship bearing his name was controversially sunk by HMS Conqueror in 1982. Uh, Rivadavia? No, it wasn't. It was Manuel Belgrano. Secondly, which station shares its name with the chief seaport of Peru, directly situated west of Lima? Cayal. No, Peru. Cayal. Cayal. It could Cayal. be Cayal, but I'm not. Cayal? Cayal is correct, yes. Which station shares its name with the 19th century French microbiologist who developed vaccines against anthrax and rabies? Pasteur. 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 Pasteur? Correct. Ten points for this. To what office did Charles I appoint William Lenthal in November 1640? He's especially remembered for defying the king when he came to arrest the five members in 16... LSE Chen. Uh, Speaker of the House of Commons. Correct, yes. <laughs> Here are your bonuses. They're on the German chemist Martin Klaproth. Firstly, for five points, Klaproth is generally credited with the discovery in 1789 of which actinide element? He named it after a newly discovered planet. Actinides or uranium, neptunium? Which one was the uranium? Because it was in the 70s. Uranium. Uranium? Correct. Now widely used in the aerospace industry, which low density metallic element did Klaproth discover in the mineral rutile in 1791? The Englishman William Gregor had previously discovered it in ilmenite. Titanium or aluminum, oh, because that's the sort of thing that's mostly aluminum. Aluminum. Titanium. Titanium. Okay. Titanium? Correct. Klaproth was one of the earliest non-French adherents of which prominent scientist who successfully refuted the phlogiston theory of combustion? French scientist. Lavoisier? Lavoisier? Correct. Ten points for this. Answer as soon as your name is called. Give any three of the five adjectives that follow the words the life of man in Thomas Hobbes's description of the... Na Open law. Nasty, poor, brutish, short. Yes, the other one is solitary. <laughs> right, so you get a set of bonuses then, Open. They're on world history in the 1390s. In 1398, the Sultanate of Delhi fell to which Turkic conqueror whose capital was at Samarkand? When did he say? When did he it's 1390. 1390. It's not Genghis Khan, is it? No, no, no. Shall I have a go with that? Genghis Khan? No, it was Tamerlane or Timur. 
Which city in southern Sweden gives its name to a political union of 1397 that brought together the three kingdoms of Denmark, Norway and Sweden under a single monarch? It lasted until 1523. Malmo? Malmo? I don't know. Malmo? No, it's Kalmar. <laughs> And finally, 1398 saw the death of Hung Wu, the founding emperor of which Chinese dynasty? Should we go for a Ming or a Tang? Or a Han? <laughs> <laughs> We've no idea. Tang. No, it's Ming. Right, we're going to take another picture round for your picture starter. There's a photograph of a notable Olympic athlete. Ten points if you can give me his name. Open Taylor. Phelps. Uh, uh, correct, yes, I'll accept that, but next time, as soon as you buzz, you must answer, all right? So you get a set of bonuses then after Michael Phelps there. To date, the most decorated Olympian with a total of 22 medals, 18 of which are gold. You'll now see three more photographs of athletes taken from the list of the top five with the highest number of Olympic gold medals. I want their name in each case. Firstly, this athlete. That's Carl Lewis. Carl Lewis. Correct. Secondly, this gymnast. Oh, is that Olga Corbett? Yeah. I, I don't, I don't know. know. I don't that right. it's, it's the best guess I've got. Uh, I think it looks like a Russian. Yeah. She is Russian, yeah. Yeah. I think. Yeah. Olga Corbett? No, it's Larissa Latinina. Mm. And finally, this athlete. Martin Spitz. Mark Spitz. Correct. Ten points for this. Also known as synalgia, what two-word term describes discomfort felt in a part of the body other than the site of... Open law. Referred pain? Correct. <laughs> Open, these bonuses are on the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine. Who won the Nobel Prize in 1983 for her discovery of mobile genetic elements, the so-called jumping genes? Come on, let's have it, please. Try Dorothy Hodgkin. No, it was Barbara McClintock. Secondly, the US biologist Carol Greider shared the 2009 Nobel Prize for her part in the discovery of which enzyme that helps to prevent the degradation of chromosomes? Telomerase. 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 Correct. The French virologist Françoise barré senoussi was a co-recipient of the 2008 Nobel Prize for her part in the discovery of which virus, usually known by a three-letter abbreviation? HIV. HIV. Correct. <laughs> Ten points for this. Which film comes next in this list of Academy Awards for Best Picture, given in reverse chronological order? Twelve Years a Slave, Argo, The Artist, The King's Speech and... LSE Mo. The Hurt Locker. Correct. <laughs> well remembered, your bonuses this time are on ornithology LSE. <laughs> what is the common name of the Alcidae, a family of seabirds represented in Britain by puffins, guillemots, and razorbills? Um, puffins, I think, like, st or storks? Gulls? Gulls? Mm -hmm. Gull Gulls? No, they're orcs. orcs. What short common name is given to the family Laridae? Species include black-headed, lesser black-backed, and Iceland. Iceland. Tit? Sure. Tit. No, those are gulls. And finally, what is the common English name for the Strigidae? Species in this family include little, short-eared, and tawny. Owl. Owl. Owl, Owl is right. Ten points for this. Claiming that he was heading either for the White House or home, which Kansas senator was defeated in the 1996 presidential election? L.S.E. Chen. Uh, Bob Dole. Correct. <laughs> These bonuses are on Scottish authors. In each case, I identify the author from their works. All three were published during the 16th century. Firstly, history of the Reformation in Scotland and the first blast of the trumpet against the monstrous regiment of women. Sure, go for it. John Knox? Correct. 
The Aeneid also 1513, the first direct translation of Virgil's Aeneid to be done in Britain. Uh, no. No. Um, pass. That was Gavin Douglas. And finally, which royal figure wrote the essays of apprentice in the divine art of poesy and the true law of free monarchies? Uh, James the first. Oh, James the sixth of Scotland. Yes, it's James the first of England. James the sixth of Scotland. Right. Ten points for this. Classified by chemical composition, which large group of minerals makes up more than ninety percent of the Earth's crust? They include quartz. <laughs> Open, give me. Silicates. Silicates is correct. Here are some of the bonuses. <laughs> On former capital cities, Pakistan's capital was moved from Karachi to which city in 1959? Later, a new permanent capital was established in nearby Islamabad. Lahore. Lahore. No, it's Raul Pindi. Zomba was the first capital of which country that achieved independence from the UK in 1964? The capital moved to Lilongwe 11 years later. Malawi. Correct. Which city became the capital of the Republic of China in 1928 and again in 1946? The national capital became Beijing when the People's Republic was founded in 1949. Let's have it, please. Shanghai. No, it's Nanjing. Ten points for this. In his Politics, Aristotle says that nature, for the purpose of making man a political animal, has endowed him alone among the animals with the power of... Open Jones. Reason? Nope. LSE Chen. Association? No, it's reasoned speech. Ten points for this. What adjective links an early 17th century play by Thomas Middleton, possibly written as a collaboration with John Webster, a novel by Graham Greene set in Indochina, and a 1928 novel by Eric Maria Remarque? Open Jones. All quiet on the rest Western Front. No, anyone like to buzz from LSE? LSE Chen. Quiet. Quiet is correct, yes. OK, let's see a set of bonuses on the solar system for you. In each case, the adjective large refers to equatorial radius. Name the largest moon of the largest planet of the solar system. Uh, so Jupiter, Venus, Europa? Come on, let's have it. Uh, Europa? No, it's Ganymede. Mm -hmm. And the second largest moon of the second largest planet. Titan? 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 No, it's rare. Titan is the biggest. And by two narrow margins, the third largest moon of the third largest planet is Umbriel, which orbits Uranus. Name any other one of that planet's five largest moons. I have no idea. Uranus, uh, name another Titan. Diana? Is that one of them? No. Let's go with that. Um, Diana? No, it's Titania, Oberon, Ariel, or Miranda, I was looking for. Ten points for this. Use of the tails of some lizards, the trunks of elephants, and the hands and feet of most primates. What Latin-derived term means and at the dawn? The LSE have 140, but the Open University have 180. <laughs> well, bad luck, LSE. You led at one point, but uh, you go with your heads held high. It's a very good performance from you. And another terrific performance from you, Open University. We should look forward to seeing you in the next stage of the competition. Thank you for joining us. I hope you can join us next time for the second of the matches between the highest scoring losers from round one. But until then, it's goodbye from the London School of Economics. Goodbye. goodbye. It's goodbye from the Open University. Goodbye. goodbye. And it's goodbye from me. Goodbye. <laughs>